Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial on this one. When you talk about the Bend, and this one is a new device uh, that we get with the 4.1 update version of Bitwig. So it's a pretty simple device. It's just to do, uh, just to get the Bend. <laughs> you know, the usual control that you get on any given synth. Uh, well, that's it. You know, it's going to be the Bend. Let me just go to OBX8. And you know what? I'm gonna just going to copy. This is the uh, Arturia take on the, o, uh, the Overheim one. And if I do some playing, I get that sound, not on this one. I'm gonna get on this one, it's not gonna be the bend. So the idea is that every time that the incoming MIDI note plays, this is gonna do something like that. That's what, how it works. Right? So that's what it needs to do by default. Let me just toggle this. Uh, active. So I'm gonna go and go back to the polysynth. So yeah, that's what it does. As soon as I turn this on, we can hear that that is happening. I'm gonna go and play the clip, unmute this. All right. So that's what it does. It's gonna bend two semitones, and of course you can decide how how far you want to go. You know, let's say I want to go do what we do, 50 semitones. Which is a lot, and of course, if I go all the way down, we can do minus 48, which is going to sound a little bit crazy. Now, of course, we can hear the sweep motion. We can uh, we can hear that it's starting lower in a lower key because we are doing minus 48. But the transition is super fast, and this is where the curve is going to uh, is going to take into account. If you if you do a double click, the bend is going to be linear. So if I do play. Now it takes a little bit longer, it's just a bit obvious. And if I do a, an exponential, it's just gonna be kind of a faster. And it's because of course the curve. If I go the other way, it can go the other way. Notice it sounds different. Alright. So then, of course, it's completely out to you. You can go up to plus 48, which is, again, just crazy. And notice when I move this, of course, the right here, the shape is going to change. And, of course, it makes sense. All right. So, again, so far, so good, right? Very simple to understand. We are just doing a vent. As soon as we, uh, the, this is a clip uh, it's playing or we are recognizing new notes, it's just going triggering the bend. Pretty much that's what it does behind the scenes. Now, of course, the bend, it's super fast. We cannot argue that it's super fast. It's going to go minus 48 or something like that. Super fast. Now, of course, this one is where we need to use, uh, this is where we need to use the time controls. I can go turn it off and use milliseconds, or you can use, uh, you know, beats. So let's say I want to go and do, I don't know, eight of 16. So I'm gonna go do play, and notice it's gonna take much, it's just gonna take longer. Of course, we can make this a little bit more kind of a absurd. And this could be good for a sound effect, right? Really great, really, really great. Now I'm gonna go back to uh, maybe something like, uh, now let's go back to four. Okay, I'm gonna go there. All right. Now I'm gonna go and record whatever it is that we are doing because we are able to see this. So I'm recording, let me just close this one. I'm recording everything that comes out of this track into this track. And if I go and do a double click, notice that we have these values available. Notice that you get the same notes, but right here you get, of course, uh, the values to do the, uh, you know, the kind of a, the kind of the automation, the, the bend. So if I go right here, notice that it says micro pitch expression editing. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click it, and right here, what you can do, you can not only inspect whatever it is that you're doing, but you can change some values from Bitwig, which is, you know, and create breakpoints and do your own your own thing. Uh, it's just really great. This is one of those, you know, great things that we get in Bitwig. So, yeah. Cool. All right, so that's what it does. 
Now notice, and for now, let me just go and do it again. I'm gonna go right here that you have an offset. So this is this one, since everything is very controlled, you're doing four of 16, four of 16, and it's gonna take four to do that bend, right? That's how it works. It goes, takes one, two, three, four, and then we get the sound, right? So of course, it's a very controlled way. Now on this one, you can offset things a little bit. So I'm gonna say this one is just gonna take a little bit longer because you're offsetting the time. I'm gonna record it. And now it's a little bit longer, it's not four anymore. It's just a little bit longer. You're just offsetting the time, not changing it. So notice that this one is one, two, three, four, and then we start at the middle of the, of the one of the next one. So yeah, that's what it does. And of course you can go the other way. And if, you, if I go the other way, like fall the other way, uh, it's not, you know, a big change, but we can hear that change. And uh, we can actually see it as well. I'm gonna go right here. We get it right here. So cool. So again, it's just a very, a very simple, that, 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 that's it. You know, I don't need to, I don't need to explain any, anything else. This is what we get. And it's a very, uh, it's just a very nice thing to have. Now, uh, if I, if you ask me, what do I prefer? Do I prefer this uh, sound? Well, it depends, it depends on the track. I feel like this sounds good, but maybe doing something, something like that could change the track. Right? And maybe sometimes you just don't know that you wanted to, so you wanted the count sound like this. So you just can bring it and just do a little bit of playing. And notice that you can do a little bit of modulation. You know what? Let me just bring a modulator and just do with the modulation. Why not? I'm gonna bring a BLFO. And I'm gonna go and do something like that. You know, something, something crazy. There you go. So okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go and do a modulation on this one. Again, why not? And I'm gonna go and modulate. Right, super, super awesome. Okay, so. Uh, this device, the vent control, the vent device, works uh, with uh, pretty much any of the sends that we get on Bitwig and the devices that we get on Bitwig, which is cool. But maybe I will, uh, you know, I would like to uh, do something like this with some other devices and you don't get it. It depends on the plugging. So you don't get it for everything that you want to use. If I go to the OBXA and I do some playing right here, I'm gonna go and do some playing. Oh, of course, let me mute this one. Let me go here, and there we go. So we are doing some bending right here. The OBX8 is just doing the chords. Notice that there's no bending. If I turn this off, of course it will just turn off the pretty much the whole sound, but there's no bending. It doesn't matter what we do, what we do. It just doesn't matter. So this is a thing that you cannot use with any plugging that you just want. You just need to, you can, can use it with the Bitwig plugins, which are, you know, a pretty good synths. Uh, yeah, you just can do pretty much anything with them. All right, so that's it. It's just a pretty simple device. So remember, of course, to like, subscribe, and uh, remember to check on Patreon because I upload everything on Patreon way before I do it right here. And I'm now adding uh, more things to Patreon, maybe presets, synth presets. And I'm just kind of a building different patches for Bitwig. So I just want to do kind of a, give you a lot of things to Patreon. So maybe you just can, I don't know, do the Patreon one month and you get, you know, tons of presets, but I'm, I'm still building them. So you're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get there uh, eventually. All right, so see you on the next one.